just wait, things will happen. And it did. So today we, we come together to present my work. And I just want to uh, just briefly tell you how this work came about. The idea was to come to Goa and of course look for your roots and, and connect and uh, to connect with the food, with the people, with the customs, because we came here on holiday and it was never enough. You just wanted to stay longer. So I thought I'd combine it with photography and my specialty in photography is actually portraits. So I wanted to photograph the women and also write their stories, which I found very interesting. But the more women I met, the more they blocked away and said, why do you want to photograph me? Don't you want to photograph my husband? I said, no, I'm interested in you and I'm interested in your stories. And eventually they'd start talking, or they'd serve tea and maybe a croquette or something, and they say, oh, you must try my food. And I noticed they always talked about food. So I said, well, how about if I photograph you in the kitchen? And that was the thing that changed it. They said, sure. That's where all my story started, was basically in the kitchen, and that's when they started to talk about their history, as well as their families, as well as their, even their thoughts on, fa on their position in the family all very interesting. I realized how important, how strong the woman's role is in the household. And through the, through the years that I've been photographing, uh, I realized that there, there are many aspects of this whole diaspora story that I was searching for. And this exhibition evolved from realizing that in India, especially in India, Asia, women or people cook with their hands, they smell, they touch, they go to the market, they'll smell the food, they're always using their hands to cook. Not so in the Western world. So there was, for me, it was a very clear aspect that was going on. And so this exhibition has evolved from the five senses of touching, touch, smell, sight, taste, and hearing. Because I also would hear things like now wait for two whistles of the pressure cooker and you know it's done. I never had never heard that. You know, I used to always open it. But th these are the things that it's, you, you, all your five senses are in the kitchen and all the, w the women respond to that very, very predominantly. So I have an, ex uh, an ex uh, a variety here of pictures involving all these five senses. And on the corner on that wall over there, there's some of the people who have helped me and over the year, every year that I come to Goa, I go and visit these people all over again, have tea with them, take them pictures, discuss their lives with them. It's, so it's been a wonderful, wonderful friendship that I've developed here in, this, in Goa itself. In Kolva. Kolva. And I made the mistake of coming at Christmas time. So everybody was busy <laughs> making Christmas sweets. And here I sat in my guest house all alone on Christmas day, thinking, what am I doing here? Nobody wants to talk to me. Uh, and then uh, I talked to uh, good friends of my Auntie Gemma who live in Maragao and they had a dri they m recommended a driver. And they said, uh, hire him and see uh, whether, you know, it's the first step is to get a driver and get out there. And this was a good point, turning point because the driver all of a sudden was interested in what I was doing when I explained the project to him. And he says, okay, I know so-and-so here and I know so-and-so there. And I said, okay, let's go see them. So it reached a point after three years that he knew my project. So whenever he met somebody and we said, I'd say something like, today we're driving south, Agonda, let's go and look at the cashew trees. I need to look, look for a cashew fruit picker. He'd start, he knew the direction, or sometimes it's okay, stop here, it looks good, let's, let's see if we can meet people. Uh, an, an example of that was very interesting, a meeting. Um, and he would explain to the people the project, so I wouldn't take my camera out right away. That was a very, it was a thing that intimidated people. But an example that we were driving to a gondola stopped at the cashew nut grove, and I was looking for a cashew fruit picker. So we're both looking towards the cashew grove, and all of a sudden he says, Madam, Madam, look behind you, and I turn around, and here's Lakshmi carrying a bucket of cashew fruit on her, on her head in the most colorful sari. And I just turned and clicked, and 
that's how we started the friendship. And this is how I got to know a lot of my subjects is we just drive, stop, stop at a village, walk around, talk to people, and they'd say, yes, come in. Uh, and I'd explain my project and he would translate and everything. So that's how I, I ended up from Agonda all the way up to Terracol through my aunt and uncle and their friends. Um, there is, unfortunately, we were not able to get a beamer, but there's a video that I've made of us having a very typical go and lunch in Terracol where I just placed my tiny GoPro camera at the table and moved it several places and nobody was aware of it. And so there's this beautiful conversation that goes on, Carl, you're in it too, that is the conversation that's back and forth, discussing the food, uh, criticizing the food, which is fine, but it's such a lively table and it's such a lively way go and eat. This is a, and I've, I recorded this and I, I, I play it every now and then because it's a wonderful way to eat together. Again, you're sensing, you're, you're, you're sensing, you're, all your senses are away. You're, you're listening to conversations. Somebody's criticizing something or something, saying this is the best crab curry I've ever had. But that's how I met my people, was just to involve themselves. And, and the drive, I have to uh, say that my driver has learned um, the project and, and has, at least we've trusted each other, let's put it this way, we've trusted. That's how I was able to travel distances. For me, it was, no, I wouldn't say it was exotic. It was coming down to the, let's say the basis, the ground level of how things are made here. Of course, we knew people scraped coconut for their curries. You collected the coconuts off the tree and stuff, but when you're actually in it and you're noticing it for the first time, you notice more. This is your everyday work, but you are able to notice just interesting things. Um, and so I, I paid attention to that. You know, it was for me a, not not only just noticing these, but uh, these people allowed me into their homes, which was uh, I was very grateful for. The women trusted me, so it was a. Uh, it for me as a photographer, it was wow. They, as a woman photographer, they're trusting me into this place. So, I, okay, took advantage of it, but I. I respected their their territory right i had my uh, i had my exhibition the in october and then covid we had a lockdown in 2020 the response was very good very interesting uh, there were new things that they had not seen or examples well what i did for the exhibition at this place that i had it was i had a tray of all the spices around and in the middle I had the masala that came from these spices. So somebody took the tray around and said, okay, these are the spices that belong to the masala and then she'd lift the cover off and they'd smell this masala. And the most of the reaction was, oh my goodness, I didn't know masala came from so many spices like this. And they realized, oh, we can do this at home if we have a good grinder, of course, the electrical grinder. So there was a lot of interest in really coming down to the art of Indian go and cooking, which really opened their minds. They were, they were fascinated. They were also very fascinated. They said, everybody's using their hands. You know, you're grinding masala, you're, you're cleaning, you're doing the coconut milk with your hands. I said, yes, that's, that's what it's about. Cooking is about using your hands, tasting with your hands, not with a spoon. So that it, was an uh, it was like a cultural exchange of information that went on, yeah. 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 Thank you.